I'm John Dillinger. Welcome to Dillinger Days. This is John Dillinger Days, and it's certainly a reenactment of the history from back in the 30s when uh, no one else could capture him, but Tucson did. 84 years later, we're still celebrating it. We all get to get dressed up and feel like we're John Dillinger for a couple of days and just have a good time. That's why we do it every year. It's because it's a lot of fun. And we're all hams. <laughs> so this is a celebration of the firemen and the Tucson police running in when the rest of us are running out, right? So that's what this event is really about. It's the story of the capture. This is maybe the most important thing that happened here ever. All the big stuff happened in one night. The, the Dillinger game caught our big fire. We lost a third floor. The whole thing. The whole kit in the world on one night in January 1934. I'm David Sillitz, the entertainment director here at Hotel Congress. Welcome to Hotel Congress. The real story is we know the gang stayed here for sure. We're not sure if Don himself stayed here one night. He actually went off, he had a girlfriend over on 2nd Avenue, not too far from here, that he moved over to, and the rest of the gang was staying here the night we had this big fire. And the gang was subsequently rounded up uh, for the police department because those guys had to leave. The fire department guys recognized them and grabbed them. And then they subsequently led them to John, who was over on 2nd Avenue. And the only reason those guys were even caught here at all is because they tried to move into the same house John was at, but the gal who was renting the house was waxing the floors and said, no, nah, you got to stay at Congress one more night. And that was the fateful night they were all captured. He's such so part of this place that you'll, you're going to feel that Dillinger, you're going to feel that gangster era when you come down here for sure. I look at guys like Dillinger, Jesse James, Billy the Kid. Why are they so popular, so romantic in our minds? I think it's because they all came at a time when it was hard times. Hard times for everybody in the country. And they gave back a little bit. And they gave some hope to those without. That attitude of helping the little man is why he became popular. If he hadn't had that, he wouldn't be the name that he is today. He was cocky, he was funny, he looked like he was enjoying himself while he was doing all this stuff. So he was, he could have been an actor if he'd wanted to. Life of crime instead. Well, Dillinger Days continues to grow and as uh, next year will be our 100th anniversary, but I don't see it ever ending. I mean, we seem to be the caretakers of this little piece of Tucson history. We're very proud of it. You can actually really live it and feel it here. It's just, it's pretty cool. <laughs>